Hey, this is YBR with Beam and G Driving. Today we're going to be taking a look at a map called Chalk Canyon, which starts you off right here in this little kind of sand pit area. And we could drive around this because it's where we start, but it's really not the focus of the map. The focus is that road, which I almost flew onto, but we really can't get up from this angle, so we're going to just back down from here and try not to flip this thing over or get it stuck in between a container and a mountain, which I've basically just done. Wait, maybe not. Let me see if I can back this thing out with one more try. There we go. You thought I was stuck. Well, so did I, but it turns out I actually wasn't. I just pretended to be stuck. And we also have like this road right here, it looks like almost, that just goes up and then out of this area. We can see where this thing leads. Yeah, this definitely seems like something you could drive on, like a dirt course area. Not the main focus again, but we're going to take a look at it before we get to the main road anyways. And if you've heard of Chalk Canyon before, it's probably from the Destruction Derby game where there's a map called that. And this is not a port of that map or anything, it's just a map inspired by it. So you'll notice when we actually do drive on the road, it's not the same as the one you would find in Destruction Derby exactly just because of that fact. Also, am I supposed to be able to climb over that? I probably could if I had a more off-road capable truck, but I don't right now. I'm taking the normal stock pickup around here. And I think that's kind of basically all there is in this dirt area. It's just a bunch of bumps and rocks and stuff you could crawl over. So we're going to go back to where we started and then take a look at the actual road. Now, this road isn't that long, so this will be a pretty short video, as you can tell, because we're probably already, I don't know, a quarter of the way through the video or so. So right here, we got this weird looking thing coming up where it's like a bunch of rocks just tumbled out like a landslide or something. We could definitely crash into that one and actually have a drivable vehicle after that, I think. Come on, steer left. Yeah. That is drivable, totally. I thought that was going to total it, but I'm just looking at it. Like, That's not that damaged, is it? Going to keep on going. No, 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 no. I say keep on going, not slide out of control like a maniac. And there goes my mirror. I just saw it pop off. So up here, we got a jump, which I'm no way going to be able to make with this damaged vehicle. We're going to fail this thing. Wait. Ooh, with the miracle jump, somehow making that. Although I did lose control at the end, the fact that I cleared that is amazing. And I think because of that jump, it's kind of a one-way road if you have a slower car. You need a faster car than this one to be able to go both ways on this course. There we go, another jump, and this thing is still going. This truck is a trooper. I'm going to go and wreck it up one more time on the jump if it'll make it. Wait, we'll hit this thing right here. Pop it out of the map, and radiator damaged, really? That's the first time the radiator got damaged? We hit a big old wall of bricks or I mean rocks and it did that little damage to the vehicle that's crazy all right let's just grab something a little bit faster to do this with we're gonna grab sunburst hill climb version because there's a little bit of a climbing hill to climb and we're gonna go as fast as we possibly can no 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 I'll just crash that's a bad idea we're gonna go relatively fast but I'm gonna remain in complete control of the vehicle so I don't make any mistakes like touching that wall a little bit that was not a mistake that was intentional now here we're going way too fast, so that's going to wreck the car. Yeah, completely wreck the car. We'll reset it, and then we're going to go in the opposite direction and see if we can make that jump. Because I'm a little bit curious about that, so we'll just do a quick 180 and go really, really fast. This time actually as fast as I can, although we're going to get some air right here. Is that going to mess me up? Oh, yes it will, because we're not even on the course anymore. That made it 100 times worse by going fast right there. So we're going to bring this thing all the way back up and try this a little bit differently. Instead of going really fast, we're going to go really slow. We're going to just calm it down. And then we're going to go really fast because you can't tell me what to do. The really fast, really fast. Come on, don't tip on me. Oh, you can't put the power down when you only got two wheels on the ground. All right, you know what? It turns out I am doing a terrible, terrible strategy in this thing. A better strategy would be just to come up to the straightaway nice and calmly. And when you hit the straightaway, then you floor it. If I do that, I'm pretty sure we'll make it with this vehicle. With something like the pickup truck, though, that would not happen. So we just go right here, floor it, and yeah, we made it. We actually went so fast, we crashed into the wall. So you really have to thread the needle right there to get the right speed to be able to clear the jump without crashing into the wall like I just did right there. And amazingly, this thing is still trying to drive, so we're going to let it keep on going for a little bit longer. Can we go any sort of speed? No, not really, because if you try to maintain going in a straight line, you lose speed, and if you let it gain speed, it just spins out. And now the engine is actually just falling out the car, basically. So that covers the paved road, but there's still some dirt roads we haven't driven on, like this one over here. So we're going to go ahead and drive on this one and then any other dirt roads that I can find. Ha! I reset the car as I was flying, so it already started rolling away. Okay, stop, car. We got to swap you out for something with some off-road capabilities. 
I'm going to keep it simple and just grab any D-Series that looks like it has a little bit of a lift to it. So the T-Rex version seems like it would be perfect for something like this. And we're going to just charge at this and then slow way down because I don't need to get airtime and destroy my suspension like that. I'd much rather destroy it on a rock or something by approaching it like this and simply not being able to climb it. Like that would happen with the T-Rex. It can climb that if it wants to. Those, on the other hand, I still don't know if I can climb those. Those are kind of steep. So instead of trying to climb them, we're going to try to go around them. And then I think we're actually supposed to be able to continue through here to that road that I was just taking a look at a second ago. So we're just going to put the power down, hope this works out, and I blame the automatic transmission for that one. So we're going to just back this thing out, swap to manual mode, stick it into first gear, and then floor it. Although apparently I'm not moving too well at the start. Right there is where that first gear extra helping is coming into play. There we go. For a second, I wasn't sure if it was working. We just looked like we were stationary, but got a little bit of traction. And that's a hole. That is a hole. I have just stuck my tire into a hole. Like, that is more amazing than anything that I found a hole that perfect for my tire to fit in. And uh, let's see if we can get out of this thing. No. Wait. The power. Of reverse gear. I almost said first gear, but it's just the reverse gear. Somehow we gotta get over this thing. Come on, truck. It's actually a pretty nice area right here for off-roading. Totally doable with a little bit fancier of a vehicle without having to take multiple attempts unless you do something dumb, it seems like. Like, I, well, I was dumb right there. I stuck my tire into the hole. I just crashed my front end into it. And we're still, still able to continue going along. Is that a natural rock formation? I don't think that's a natural formation. That doesn't look like it could happen. I'm crazy. Stacking exactly identical rocks, one on top of the other. Four times nature. Whoops. You're crazy, nature. And I made a mistake. Also, I'm not upshifting because I'm afraid there might be a steep hill or something that I'll eventually have to climb up. And I'm just like, you know what? We'll just leave it in first gear. It'll work. Okay, and spin it around. So that is not a bridge of rocks that we could drive on because there's no road that actually goes up to there. This looks like it could be a road, but I'm not going to bother trying to actually attempt to drive it. Instead, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. So until next time, this has been YBR. I'll see ya.